Me and you, baby, we'll walk in the footsteps and build our own family. Hey everyone, I'm back with my eyebrows did. <laughs> Finally made the time to go do my eyebrows. Uh, the lady says, this one's a little thinner than the other one. I was like, oh, well, you're the one that did it last time too. <laughs> She's good at what she does, but we're human, so they're not always going to be perfect. It's all good. It's not all bushy tail, so it's all good. So um, today is January 21st, and I, um, I'm i about to post the one from from. February barely I'm gonna post both of them at the same time I think if I have time to do so um, I have a little time I'm trying to go into the store to buy some chicken I'm gonna make some chicken wings for dinner but the rain is on and off on and off so I was like well I was gonna record till I got home but since I'm just waiting in the parking lot waiting for it to die down a little bit I'll give you an insight of my visit today so I got a call from my doctor's office uh, Monday to let me know the doctor my doctor was gonna be out uh, due to a family emergency and if I still wanted to keep my appointment or if I wanted to see uh, or if I wanted to reschedule um, I chose to keep my appointment um, I hate to have to see another doctor but I mean the whole purpose of going to this appointment a week after um, I saw him last week was because I was supposed to check to see if I'm actually ovulating today if I wait another week, then that kind of changes the story. You know, I don't know. I may be, I may not be, but he wanted to time it based on my last period. So um, I went ahead and kept in. I saw a different doctor. I had to wait a little bit longer, I guess, because I'm not his patient. So I had to wait over an hour and a half. It's all good. Um, it was actually worth it. Um, he, the doctor that I saw, um explain things very well um so and that's what i need because i don't know a lot and um, i don't want to google everything because google tells you more than you even wanted to know according to google i should probably die tomorrow with all my symptoms so i will lay off of google <laughs> i'll just go based on what the doctors i'm seeing tells me um, and if I need to, I will Google some. But, um, so, doc checked to see if I was ovulating. I did an ultrasound, a vaginal ultrasound, and um, checked to see if I was, and none of my uh, eggs are mature. So, no, I am not ovulating. So, um, that's a little bummer. Um, but I knew it because I have issues ovulating I have issues with a lot of things and that's what I'm trying to figure out and that's what I'm trying to nip in the butt so um, he checked to see if I was ovulating I was not so what my next step is is I am going to be given a medication to help me start my period again uh, that medication is gonna um, after the 14th day I will start bleeding again and then on the third day of my period, I will call the office so that they can call in um Oh my god, I just went black on blank on the name of the medication, Clomed. <laughs> They're going to call Clomed in to, to the pharmacy so that I can start taking Clomed. Clomed is a medication that helps to stimulate and help um me actually um, ovulate so I'm excited about that oh I'm just so praying that this works okay so I asked the question about the metformin so about me about that having to do with the cyst that are my ovaries and and I, I hope I'm not twisting everything too much for you guys because I'm talking about one thing then jumping to another one the reason why I'm jumping back to um, the metformin is because I asked the doctor the reason that I'm not ovulating and will the metformin work for that um, and he says that yes and the reason why is because I'm diabetic and so diabetics um, have a harder time to get pregnant because our A1C is off our um, our um, I don't know why I was going so blank. 
that's why I like to do my videos like right after um, so my a1c is too high so I have my insulin levels are too high that's what I couldn't think of the word my insulin levels are too high um, and because when your insulin levels are too high that um, kind of it kind of, it's kind of like a barrier you know it's just like something that just stops you from ovulating so um, metformin helps control your diabetes, helps control your A1C, helps control um, those factors uh, so that you can actually ovulate. Um, but since I'm having issues ovulating, they will be giving me the Clomed and uh, the Clomed does help with the ovulation. Now, I've never done Clomed before I've never taken any type of fertility medication, so this is going to be the first. Um, I'm supposed to be picking up my medication today from Walmart. Excuse me to um, start my period, so I'm I'm excited about that and nervous at the same time. I told my husband uh, that he didn't go with me this time. It's the first time he uh, didn't go with me because he's got to work I'm typically off on Wednesdays so um, gotta make that money and so I went by myself today but I'm a big girl um, um, I have a I have a great support system and that's all that matters so um, I'm excited and nervous so I'm gonna get my medication today so I will start this today um, today is uh, February Sorry. February 21st. Hey everyone, how's it going? Como están? Hopefully everybody's doing good, enjoying their day. Um, I'm very blessed to be here today. I wanted to finish my video from the last time that I started. Um, I just not had, I haven't had a chance to complete my video till today. Um, Wednesdays are typically my day off, so that is when I can do a lot more. So, started off pretty good. Um, went to the gym. I haven't been in a few days, I have to admit. I don't know why, but I just have no energy whatsoever to go to the gym. <sighs> I need some more encouragement. I need some encouraging words. Help. Um, so, I'm trying really hard, um, but it's been a struggle. Um, I went today and um, it really boosted my energy. Um, I tried this little energy booster and it worked pretty good. So as soon as I got home, I still had some energy. So I cut the grass. I uh, think of it as not only making the house look pretty, but it's also a workout. My hands are still tingly. I should have put gloves on because now I have all these nasty sores on my feet, on my hands. Um, so to follow up on my last doctor's visit, um, last time that I told you guys I had to meet another doctor and um, everything went pretty good. I'm doing this new thing now. I'm going to start writing down what we have spoken about. Um, because I tend to forget so much to take in and um, I said I was gonna start recording it and I forgot to do that <laughs> so <laughs> sometimes they come in so fast and I <laughs> you don't expect it and you're just like Ugh. so um, I know there was a few things that I did mention on my previous video um, just to go down my list um, the things that were spoken of the day of my last visit with the fertility specialist uh, was the uh, intake of the metformin and how that helps with my um, A1C and it uh, helps with my insulin levels being so high. Uh, that there is a big factor of why I don't ovulate. So taking metformin for me is very important. It doesn't make me feel sick. I'm taking 500 milligrams in the morning and 500 milligrams in the evening. I have not yet. I started taking 1500 and that was making my stomach upset. So I'm doing 500 and 500. <clears throat> and um, so far so good, I haven't had any issues with it. Um, the doctor did uh, prescribe medication for me to 
um, start my period and it's a 10 day uh, pill for me to take and I have three more days left for me to take the pill um, as soon as I'm done with the the 10 day pill I should start bleeding and then once I start that I will uh, be able to hi honey come give me a kiss I just barely had a minute to honey. hi everybody honey's home from work I have dinner cooking I started late because I was helping your mom put up the um, some curtains that she needed done. You see how much grass I cut? My hands are hurting. They're all blistered. Oh, it's actually going down. <sighs> but yeah, <laughs> I'm going over my list. Okay, so um, I have three days left on my pill. Once I finish that, then I should start bleeding. I'm not sure if it typically like starts right away. Um, the only sucky thing about me being on these pills and starting to bleed, I so uh, happened to be going to a wedding on this weekend in Laredo and um, I'm gonna finish my pills like right before the wedding, like that Friday before. So I'm scared. <laughs> I'm going to end up having my period for the wedding, but oh well. It is what it is. So, <clears throat> another um, topic that was spoken was my uterus lining. The uter He noticed that my uterus lining was uh, thick. He asked me if I typically have regular periods, and I told him, no, I'm, I'm irregular. Um, so, he says... Um, he asked me if I typically have like long periods, short periods, or what. His, I told him since I lost a lot of weight, um, my periods typically come regular. I don't have, I don't have long periods. At least the longest I've lasted on a period was seven days. Um, so other than that, I, I'm normal. Three days sometimes, five days, seven days the max. Um, he says for my lining. Um, the thickness of my lining being that you know I have regular cycle days it should be thinner and I was like but I may have regular cycle days but I don't get my cycle every month so it makes sense why my uterus lining would be thick um, so that may be another uh, obstacle also <laughs> I may have to go in for surgery so that they can thin it out um, that's also another barrier, another factor of not being able to get pregnant. So, um, we'll see how that goes. Um, right now, I guess we're pretty much just, uh, focusing on the bleeding part. Once I get that going, um, start the Clomid, um, and go from there. Um, today is March 7th. Um, I, last I checked in was in February. I started my pills on the 21st and I finished on the 2nd that evening so on the weekend I had a wedding and it went great it was an amazing trip um, first time my husband visited a lot of my family in Laredo and it was very very special to me um, unfortunately I lost my godmother uh, about a year ago and um, it was an emotional time I hadn't been there since her funeral and um, he was able to meet my godfather for the first time, which was great. Um, I wish he would have been able to meet my godmother. He would have loved her, but um, we were able to at least um, say a little something. We have They have her ashes there at my uncle's house, and we were able to chill there at their house for a little while. A lot of memories, great memories. She would have, uh, she would have loved him. <clears throat> But it was a great trip. Um, I'm just glad I didn't have to. I'm glad I didn't start my period on the weekend because I love dancing and um, that would have sucked being on my period. But luckily I didn't start. Um, but I'm now I'm getting a little anxious because I haven't start, started. It's already March 7th and I would have expected to start bleeding already. So I'm going to give it, I said I was going to give it um, a week. And if I still haven't started bleeding, then I'd call the office to see. <laughs> Uh, what's going on oh, um, that's pretty much it there's nothing else I don't think that I'm missing 
that's about it I'm fixing a post I have time to post and then go clean what else that's it toodaloo guys have a wonderful day have a blessed day I'll check in with you guys as soon as I can move forward from this place that I'm stuck the bleeding whoever looks forward to a period says no one <laughs> all right guys i'll uh, check in with you guys later bye hey everyone i'm uh, checking in again i just literally made a video like an hour ago of course i haven't posted because i'm always on delays on posting it um i just started my period <laughs> today's march the 7th and um I can't believe it. I'm just like excited but not excited because I'm cramping. Um, so I'm actually going to call my doctor's office tomorrow to let them know because I don't want to wait till the third day and then because the third day happens to be on a Friday and we all know Fridays when we're at work we're trying to we're trying to leave at a certain time and when I get uh, when I get to work I get real busy with patients so I don't want to uh, to get distracted and forget to call or something and then have to wait till Monday. I want to get this going. Um, I've been patiently waiting to get things going for, hmm, let me see, my daughter's going to be 13 in a few months, so I would say almost 12 years. So I am excited and nervous at the same time. Um, I'm going to call them tomorrow, which is Thursday, and hopefully they don't give me a hard time and say something. I don't know why I have to wait till the third day, but um, I'll call them tomorrow so they can call it in, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm excited, y'all. All right, I'll check in with y'all later. Bye.